December 27. Good afternoon, YouTube fans. Uh, Graphy signed on. Just a quick look at my um, hybrid system here. Grid tie slash battery backup uh, system that I have here. And uh, everything's been working out great. Uh, the Ames inverter here. Uh, have it a little over uh, a month now. And um, it's superb. It's working wonderful. It's an inverter charger. And uh, I can't complain. It's working untouchable. You know, like I say, we use it at night. We run uh, roughly 75 to 80% of the house on this at night. And what I love about this charger so far is the, uh, the charging system here and how it's configured. If I'm running my house uh, on it for whatever, or, you know, the battery voltage drop below a uh, certain, certain voltage, it will automatically kick over without me doing anything at all. It will automatically kick over and start to recharge the batteries for me without me doing anything at all. So that's one feature. Two thumbs up for Ames. And then um, after uh, the batteries are uh, fully charged, it will go back to inverter mode. While it's charging the battery, it will bypass um, 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 uh, inverter mode and send the power directly, which is the pass-through, to your load inside while it's charging the battery. And uh, when the battery is fully charged, it will go back over to inverter mode, meaning that it will start to take power from the battery again to feed your load that, you know, you have hooked up onto the system. And everything is working great. Uh, here in the winter time, now, you know, I've managed to see my battery, uh, like I say, in an absorb or float voltage ahead of time. You know, so that's good. I can't complain. So right now on the um, the Ames, like I said, we only use it at night. So it's on power save and it's on power save with a pulse. Because, you know, we're not, you, we don't have any load on it right now. Batteries are fully charged. It's not inverted. And it pauses whenever it's sensing for a load over 50 watts. But like I say, even though it's on, uh, it's on power save mode because uh, the transfer switches are inside are set to regular grid because during the daytime, uh, over here is what really runs the house during the daytime here. And then at nighttime, uh, I'll go into the garage and flip over the switches to um, the gen. And the inverter will automatically kicks on, comes out of power save mode and goes over into inverted mode. Great feature. And like I said, the beauty of this inverter, um, if, if, um, if for whatever the reason is, the batteries go below a certain voltage, it will automatically kicks on, kicks over and charge the battery for me. So this is nice. So that's my system and uh, everything is working out great. Let me take you to a trip in my battery bank right here. So that's in my battery bank, YouTubers. I got a um, 12 deep cycle, six volt golf cart battery here. And three uh, sets of four batteries are wired in series and in parallel together. Uh, they all come here. And as you can recall, my uh, breaker. So this is where I installed the breaker for the um, Ames inverter. And everything works out great. And that's the breaker for the Ames inverter. Works out great. That's a temperature sensor in here. 
for the uh, aims and that's the temperature sensor for the uh, Flexmax 80. But a little over a month and uh, everything is working great. Batteries are doing much better uh, here in the winter time. As you know, in the winter time, for just about anyone who's doing solar, the sun's a little bit lower. So it might take a little bit longer to um, charge your battery up 100% or even go, it goes into float mode or absorb mode. And then, like I said, we do have enough solar panel on the roof that I could have transferred over from here to here, but uh, not, don't worry about it. You know, um, everything is fine. And uh, like I say, my big joy of, um, of, of, of the day here, I should say, it's my AIMS inverter. So my AIMS, I would highly recommend this AIMS inverter to anyone. And by the way, guys, my system is a um, 24 volt battery bank. And my AIMS inverter here is a uh, 24 volt slash 120 volts, 4,000 watts, pure sine wave inverter. So, and that's my little sign here. I do put a little sticker on this about another thing. And, uh, spells will kill. And I have 3,000 watts of solar power on this one. And uh, I got 1,560 watts of solar power on this Flexmax 80. Still haven't got a chance to finish this areas yet, but I'll take care of it in, 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 in this coming spring or so. And of course, in here, I have 120 slash 240 volts going in. <laughs> so, this is my system again, and uh, my highlight, you know, today here is my Ames inverter, and I did get the display panel here that's in the bottom here. And I highly recommend this inverter to anyone. So from this evening, uh, at about 6.30, 7 o'clock, so I'll just go into the garage and I'll flip the switches over. And then the house, like I say, will start to, the inverter will start to um, invert. So right now we're just in power save mode because it's not being used at the moment. So Garfi sign off. Thanks again.